Hey friends! So friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to do this cute hairstyle. I thought it would be great for back to school and if you stick around to the end you will see how I wrapped it up at night and how amazing it looked in the morning. So I started off by adding just a little bit of moisture to her hair with our spray bottle and if you check the description box I'll have all the products there for you. And then I'm just creating a part going all the way back and I didn't show it here but you can use the tip of her nose as your guide to where you're going to start that part. And then I just tied one side up just to keep it out of the way while I'm working with the other side. And then now I'm just going to use the tip of her ear as my guide to create this part. And then I'm just going to part the hair the same way on the other side but instead of using the tip of her ear as my guide I'm just going to use the other part as my guide. You can use the tip of your ear if you'd like. And now I'm just going to put each section into the, a ponytail and first I sprayed her hair with the spray bottle and then I just grabbed some of my Eco Styler gel that I had lying around because I ran out of uh, the Blueberry Bliss control paste and then I'm going to make sure that her hair is all nice and detangled before I get the ponytail in there. And then I used the soft bristle brush just to lay down those edges even more. Then I added the ponytail and then I did the same exact steps for each section. So now we're just going to get the cute little ringlets into her hair and I'm just starting off by moisturizing her hair like always. And then I'm just going to grab some hair for that first ringlet. And I like to start out at the bottom just because um, you see how I have to hold the hair up to create those ringlets. I don't want to have to mess with the ringlets that I've already made. So I like to start off at the bottom and it's up to you how thick and thin you want to make those ringlets. That's how much hair you want to grab. And you definitely want to use a fine tooth comb for this. You, a wide tooth comb will just not work but I find that the curls come out so much more nicer when you use the fine tooth comb. And then all you do is you're just taking that hair and you're twisting and twisting and twisting. And I like to twist and twist until, you know, pretty much you can't twist anymore. Um, just because it just makes that curl stay nicer. I found that the curl like stayed a few days longer from me twisting and twisting because friends I used to do this in my hair all the time and I would just it would take me hours upon hours like literally maybe three or four hours and I wouldn't I would just twist just to get that nice ringlet and now I realized if I keep twisting and twisting until you know I cannot no longer twist the curl stays like for days it's amazing and you don't have to twist as much as I'm twisting to make like a cute little ringlet but I do find that if you twist really like a, a lot of times until it's like really tight then it does stay in her hair longer so friends, I finished her hair here as you can see, but I realized there's a step in here I didn't film that I really wanted to show you. So what another thing that you want to do, make sure is that her hair is wet when you do this. Um, maybe damp, you just just not dry at all, just because it makes the, a nicer curl. If it's dry, it's just going to be like a frizzy curl and you want to make sure that her hair is all detangled. And also what you want to do is make sure that the hair is, see how I'm holding the hair together and it's in between the comb like that. And that's how you twist it. And then you're just going to keep pulling the hair and twisting and twisting. And just basically when you can feel, when it feels like that the hair cannot be twisted any longer, that's when you're pulling the comb. And the reason why you want to make sure the hair is detangled is so that you can pull that comb nicely. And another reason why you want to make sure the hair is nice and damp is so you can pull that hair through the comb. So back to where we left off and see all I'm doing is I'm just continuing to grab hair and then I just use the spray bottle just to wet her hair uh, make sure it's all nice and damp and then I'm making sure her hair is all detangled and then I start twisting and friends I did not put no gel or nothing in her hair I think the water bottle is good enough but if you are finding that the curl is not holding what I would suggest that you do is grab some gel whatever gel that you use and not the blueberry bliss control paste because I find that's just for the edges but something like the eco styler gel or any other gel that you use anyways and um, put that gel in after you spray her hair with the water you put it in and then you create that curl and then even after you're done you can maybe I wouldn't I wouldn't add it, but if you feel like you need to add it to the curl afterwards, I'd just be too afraid that the curl is not going to be as cute as it would be if you just left it alone.
Well, friends, another thing I wanted to mention when you're doing those curls at the like top of her ponytail, you want to take that pony and see how where my comb is. I pos I positioned it right at the end of the like the starting of the ponytail, the starting of the ponytail. But I also had her hair lifted up and then I curled it and then I brought it down to curl the rest. You want to lift it up so that you're not grabbing any other curls and messing them all up when you're making that curl and see how I'm able to like curl that and be further away but you can't really get the like the very first part of that curl without lifting that comb up first and making sure that comb is right at the base of that ponytail. So now that I'm done, I'm just gonna grab my soft bristly brush and I'm just going to, you know, try to control those edges a bit. And if I had some Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, I would definitely be putting that on again, but I'm not gonna use the Eco Styler Gel because I find when you put too much of it on, it starts to flake. And then I added some bows to both the front and the back ponytails, but you don't need to do that. It does look cute without or with. So this is the finished result. It's so adorable, so cute. And this does take about 45 minutes to do, friends. So you wanna make sure you're prepared for that. But it does last a few days, so that's why it makes it worth it. So friends, I just wanted to show you what I did at nighttime. Actually, I wasn't really sure if it was gonna stay in or keep in or, you know, so I wanted to try it out. So what I did is I took out her elastics and I kind of loosened her hair because I don't like to keep uh, Sakura's tight styles in at night at all just because her, sensitive, her edges are sensitive. So I always take her hair out. And after tight styles, I like to massage her scalp. But the key thing here is friends, you wanna make sure that she is wearing a satin bonnet because this is what's gonna keep those curls nice. So here it is the next day and I was actually quite surprised that they stayed in so nice and tight. And all I did was I just sprayed, you know, just a little bit of water and then I ended up putting her hair back in ponytails. If I had Blueberry Bliss Control Paste, I would definitely add that, but I'm not gonna add the Eco Styler Gel, especially when the hair is more dry because it will leave flaking. In my experience anyways, and I have added oil, but I still find that the Eco Styler Gel does flake her hair. So my friends, there you have it. You can keep this hairstyle in for four days or even more. I kept it in for four days and I did have to tweak it and fix it up a little bit on the third and fourth day, but the curls were still amazing. Anyways, my friends, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. We love you, friends. Bye.